Welcome to this introduction to the multi-loaded, multi-span beam module in StrutCalc. You can open it by clicking the fifth icon button on the toolbar. This module is the most comprehensive module in StrutCalc in that it allows you to design a beam of up to three spans, including the option to have cantilevers at either or both ends. Each span can be loaded with a uniform load, up to six concentrated loads, and up to four trapezoidal or partially distributed uniform loads. For expedience, I will recall a three-span design that I have saved in the Project Manager. You can review the loading by clicking the Loading Diagram button on the Navigation Toolbar. As you can see from this diagram, we have loaded the beam with a different uniform load on each of the three spans. Four separate concentrated loads, a trapezoidal load on the left span, a partially distributed uniform load on the center span, and a triangular load on the cantilevered right span. To change a loading on any of the spans, simply click the button corresponding to the span and modify the input values. To quickly design the beam, we can use auto size to check what kind of beam would be adequate. I will choose a wide flange with a range of depths of 12 inches to 16 inches to find the lightest possible section that meets the design requirements. StrutCalc determines the optimum design and chooses the most severe load case combination for shear, moment, and deflection. When auto size is done calculating, you can select the desired member, and this section will be dropped into the navigation toolbar. You can view the shear, moment, and deflection diagrams by clicking the VMD diagram button on the toolbar. You can also determine what the shear, moment, and deflections are at any locations on this beam by typing in a location and hitting the calculate button. There is a powerful tool in this multi-span module called the Trap Wizard. I will now clear the loads on this span by clicking the Clear All Loads button. With the Trap Wizard, you can quickly input trapezoidal loads that are spread over two or three spans. I will load the beam with different loads and at different locations on these spans by starting with a live load of 200 pounds per lineal foot, a dead load of 100 pounds per lineal foot, and ending with a live load of 400 pounds per lineal foot, and ending with a dead load of 200 pounds per lineal foot. This trapezoidal load has a starting point of 4 feet from the left end and an ending point of 41 feet from the left end. The trapezoidal loads at the support points are then calculated and these values are automatically plugged into the beam spans when you click the add and exit button. You can now print the analysis or you can do a print preview by clicking this button on the toolbar. As you can see, the printout provides a complete summary of the design of this beam, including the loading diagram of the beam. That concludes our quick review of the multi-loaded, multi-span beam module. Thank you for watching.